Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Romani and if you're new here, hello and welcome. Today I'm going to do this Halloween inspired lip art. It's super easy. It's like a Frankenstein cute look. Uh, if you want to know how I got this, then keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is the uh, Maybelline Anti age eraser concealer this is just in the neutralizer i'm just going to go around the perimeter of my lips and then blend that out with a brush this seems it just gives it a little bit of a contour gives it a bit more of a um base but it's only on the perimeter that i've put it so it does if you'll see in a second it go, does give a like a natural ombre to the lips the next thing I'm going to go in with is a brown uh, lip pencil. This is the Remel, um, what is it called? The Lasting Finish Thousand Kisses or whatever it's called. Um, lip pencil in a cappuccino. And I'm just going to go round and line my lips. So it's a bit of a darker, it's a brown lip. So it uh, will contour and make the perimeter of the lips um give it the little, little give them their shape oh my god i can't speak today it's terrible 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 so it doesn't have to be perfect i'm just going to contour the whole uh perimeter of my lips and i also color in the outer corners just to give them a little bit of depth as well uh once i have done all of that you will see that um they're not perfect I don't want perfect lips. <laughs> the, nobody's lips are perfect. But it just made the outer perimeter nice and dark. And it gives my lips that perfect ombre look. Then I'm going to go in with a red lip pencil. This is the Contour Edition by Bourjois in a red. Make sure it's nice and sharp because I want to do a more of a precise um, line within that brown that I did. So the brown is that depth for that contour and the red, the red is going to be where we have cut our lips out. Or, well, we haven't. We might have. I don't know. Somebody has cut our lips out to stitch them back onto my face. Or maybe somebody's cut somebody else's lips off and stuck them to my face. That's probably more likely. <laughs> so, we're just, obviously, aligning our lips with that red as well. Keeping the line nice and... Um, thin so keep that pencil nice and sharp um, and once we have done the perimeter I then go in and do one straight across the lips so um, cutting the lips in half as you will once you have done that it should look something like this Obviously, you could do your line however you feel you'd like your lips cut. And then I'm going to go in with, this is a water-activated paint from Snazaroo. And it's like a real, um, it's like a blood red, a bit of a deeper red. And I'm literally using a very thin brush. And I'm just going to do exactly what I did with that red lip liner. But as you can see, it's a little bit more precise and it's a little bit more darker. So we're just going to completely copy what we've just done but with this red paint and once we've done that i'm just going to dip that same brush into a black water activated paint and do tiny little uh, stitches so tiny little lines little thin lines all around the perimeter of my lip and um, all along that red that we've done and then all along the red that is within my lip, the slice between my lips as well. Just keeping them little. Um, every now and then do a little cross as well, if you'd like, just to make it look a little bit more sloppy. Some of the stitches are at a different angle, anything like that, just to make them look like Frankenstein has got hold of me and done some botched job. 
And then I'm going to mix together that black with that blood red and just do tiny little dots either side of the stitches to make it look like they are actually in my lip. And then we are near to the end so I'm going to use that same brush again and dip into a white face paint and I'm going to highlight the middle of each of those stitches. So just a teeny tiny little line in the middle of those stitches. I do go off camera I'm afraid so uh, as you can see what I do is I lay the brush on its side and just touch because it's such a thin brush I'm just touching you can see what I'm doing and that just highlights just the very middle of those stitches just to make them look like they are real stitches real stitches coming out of my lips hopefully I'm trying to film it so you can see as best you can of the the angle that the brush is so it's just literally just laying down and touching the middle part of those stitches um, and once those stitches are done we are done we are at the end and here is the finished look uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it fun and um, this easy it is an easy quick and easy little look that you could add to any other um, costume and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time. Bye! <laughs> and a hidden bonus of I added some blood. This blood is awful looking. Look at it. <laughs> it looks like I don't know what. Anyway, you could add some blood um, and make it look... Look, there's no need for that, is there? Really? Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye.